If you're in for an extremely, extremely scattered video today, stay tuned, but you don't want to miss it. Hey everyone, Nikki here, Twilight Huntress, from everyone's nature. So I actually have a little bit of an announcement to make. I was kind of hanging on for a bit, like a week longer than normal, because I reached my 200 subscriber mark. Now I think I was at 211. Anyway, I, of course I want to do a giveaway, but I wanted to first show you what I did get in the mail last week, which I've been wanting to try. And I'm so, so happy I didn't do a like get ready with me because I was so orange faced. I don't know, even my, today, do you know what? I'm going to explain something to you before we go any further. First of all, the weather here in my province in Canada has been getting so nice, so nice. So I've been opening my window every morning just to get some fresh air. Like my room is like actually quite icy right now. <laughs> quite icy. I wanted to use this backdrop at least one more time because the snow is melting so incredibly fast out there. Like it is like every day we've been having plus weather for the last almost week. So it's like perfect, perfect weather. So you will hear vehicles, outdoor noise. It is what it is today. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got in the mail because a while back I did get that mystery box, Afrique, right? Afrique by Juvia's Place, sorry. And today I just want to show you, I used, I'm just gonna show you the color so I don't forget. I used um, something I can't read without my glasses on. And I use, I always just like play so much with the colors that in the end I'm like, why why did i throw five colors on my lids i don't know it happens though so i got into well i, I first tried with the the uh, niger i guess it's called i don't want to read it as i'm thinking it because it's just not really nice to say but then i went in a little bit with the kissy down here in the bottom but that was really doing nothing. So I'm guessing it's a transition shade or something just to blend out with. So then I went in with the Cameroon, the darker brown. So I worked those two together on my lids, the green and the Cameroon, and it was working out pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and then I went back in with the Kissy, or Kaisi, whatever. And then I went in with this um, Bintu kind of a, a more of a red shade. I did that just a bit. I just brought it out on, on the corners of my eyes from the bottom up. So just a tad. And then I, what did I do on my eyelid? I believe I did. <laughs> See, this is what happens because I go so crazy. I think I used this one, which is Togo, sorry. And then I went in with this really light um, Angelique. So, the palette is my palette in every sense of the word. I like just get all artistic or try to and then I just go to town on that. So I used the Afrique by Juvia's Place today, which I don't often do actually. I think in summer I'll probably dig into a little bit more, but now in winter it's kind of like tones that I'm not totally into. Anyway, let's get on to exactly why or what I got in the mail. So I got my first I Am Magic Velvety matte foundation and I got it in FES 620 which I assumed was like my shade it is so hard to get the right shade especially online but I turned out super orange you know what I didn't care though and you know what I am like happy with the results this stuff covers like nobody's business like this stuff is such a clean finish um, wow like absolute wow so that's the color and I'm not, oh, I think I got some lip gloss on my thing. I am not there yet. Like, the sun is just starting to warm up. So I'm not, I'm just not at that shade yet. Now I need to wipe this off. But I have nowhere to wipe it, so I'll just wipe my finger off on my hand and we'll just leave that there for now. So what I did to fix that problem is I took my two concealers. So I order my foundation in a way too dark color for myself right now, but it's so hard to tell. It is really hard to tell, even with their pictures. So I got concealer in 
um, numbers 21 and 23. One is um, more of a pink tone, this one here, which is 21. 21 is more in the pinky tones. And um, look at that. I was actually, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. So this one has the Juvia's Place on the glass. This one has the Juvia's Place on the lid. So does that mean I got an older product in one of them? I don't know. So this is more peachy tone, this is more pinky tone. So I think, I, yeah, I took the pink and I like blobbed it on everywhere and I just blended it into that dark foundation and I think I'm pretty sure I got a decent coloring going on there. So happy with that. And then afterwards I used the darker concealer and just did a little bit of brightening under my eyes. Now, I don't know, we're gonna see when this video, when I edit it and actually like upload it to YouTube, how incredibly bad my makeup is because in my little viewfinder, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks like great, but it doesn't mean anything. I know this from past experience, so that means nothing. I also, you remember I had gotten two lip glosses. One I was like, ah, I can use that one. The other one was super dark, like super dark meant for dark toned skin. Not for, not for my white girl skin, that's for sure. So this one called Sophisticated is more, um, again, into peachy, peachy, peachy mauvey a little bit, but more peachy to me. Like, I don't know, maybe peachy brown tone. It, it's a really, really pretty lip gloss, like super pretty lip gloss. I am so excited that I actually finally tried it and used it and love it. It actually suits me, I think. So then besides that, that's the only Juvia's Place products I do have. So after that, I went in with some of my Ipsy Glam Bag, like Contour, which was an eyeshadow, but I use it for contour all the time. And Ipsy, actually that bag was my December bag and it was super, super late. So they actually had in the meantime sent me a replacement bag. So I got two of those now. So I'll be able to use that contour for a long, long time. Went in with my Beauty Crop um, Peach Blush. I like that too. I don't often use that, but and I think that I got that from a Glossy Box. On that note, I did unsubscribe from Glossy Box. Um, I needed to cut down a few of my subscriptions because who's got $500 to throw into subscriptions in a month? I don't. I just don't. As much as I loved Glossy Box, I needed to cut out. So now I'm only going to be doing Ipsy Glam Bag, which is the only one that actually ships to Canada, and my BoxyCharm because you get really a lot of bang for your buck in that one. So that is why I chose to go with BoxyCharm versus Glossy Box. Glossy Box seems to be a lot more deluxe. Um, sample sizes. Um, Boxy Charm is full size items. I gotta be smart about this. I just gotta be smart about this. So anyway, and I'm not so happy with my ponytail today. I'm having problems. I woke up out of sorts. I wasn't able to meditate. I wasn't, my card pull was like really off. I was just having a problem. My quill, <laughs> my poor quill was broken and I had problems with that. My whole day started off rotten and I have been struggling so, so, so so hard with my quitting smoking really hard I did have a cigarette this morning it did and I think I feel okay now but it was a lapse in judgment and it's just it's just a very intense like draw to that anyway I won't even go into that right now that is just like a whole nother subject my day started off off in an off way so this is how it's going so anyway let's get off of all these subjects Oh, no, we won't get off these subjects. Speaking of subscriptions, uh, the Luna Loft just posted her um, Luna Box watercolor uh, video that she does every for every month. And I am so excited because it is a buck or a stag or whatever you want to call it. And I believe that's going to be in the Luna Box for this month. I think that's how she does it. She posts the videos. The month of the box's release oh my gosh so what i did because um wolf and thyme is actually like switching it up they have discontinued the luna box well the luna and the lux are kind of being put into one and they are like discontinuing the tea which i'm really sad about 
And anyway, it's all just a mess. It's not a mess, but the wolf and thyme is staying pretty much the same minus, I guess, something. I guess it's, I guess it's staying the same, but I don't know. So this was the last month of having, like, being able to buy the original, like, wolf and thyme box and the luna box so i did purchase both of those and if that is the watercolor of this month i am so happy and i'm so excited to be getting that box so incredibly excited anyway on to the giveaway let's do this quick i don't want to have this video be forever and a day basically all i want you to do is i would like you to sound off below well first you have to be subscribed to my channel do like this video and let me know below in the comments if you would like a beauty box, mystery box, gift, whatever you want to call it, or metaphysical. Just one or the other or surprise me. No, don't surprise me. Choose one or the other. Or if you're like me and love both things in life, maybe put in there a mix. So either a mix, a straight out metaphysical box, or a straight out beauty box. One of the three, just choose one. Easy, easy, easy peasy. I think anyway, my world will be easy, easy peasy for me to put that together because I'm just, I just love all of these things. So it's such an easy curation for me to put something together for you. And if I send it to you in like one of my boxes from one of my other subscriptions, it's just how it goes. I like to reuse materials instead of like buying you. So you will probably get it that way. Anyway, I'm so happy you join me. And when will this end? When will this end? Do you know what? I haven't even looked at my calendar. I want to give it because I am very low in subscribers still. Like, I would like to actually give it at least two weeks, but I am going to choose a date and I will put it down. I'll probably pin it in the post. Like, I'll comment and pin it in the post just so you know what date it ends. And that's all I've got to say today. Um, I will be doing episode three of my Nikki self sustaining lifestyle today because I got my seeds ready. I actually moistened the soil. I've been letting it sit 24 hours plus and now it's time to seed so i'll be definitely doing that video today in full makeup full makeup so whatever this is how my life is today anyway i hope you all having an amazing wonderful beautiful magical day evening morning afternoon wherever you're at in the world when you watch this video and i'll see you in the next one very shortly bye <laughs>